Let's learn how to export an SVG file from Photoshop in this quick and simple tutorial. Once your SVG file is ready for export, start by double checking your layers are scalable. So here I have a vector smart object of my image, I have a shape labeled rectangle, and I have my text layer here. Convert any live text you have to a shape by right clicking and going to convert to shape. Once you're ready to export, come to Photoshop Preferences on Mac or File Preferences on Windows and under Preferences go to Export. In the Export option, check the Use Legacy Export As box and press OK. For new M1 users or people who can't find this option, open Photoshop in Rosetta mode by going to your applications, locating the Photoshop launch button and going to Get Info. From there then you can click the Open in Rosetta mode option. So with Legacy turned on, come to File, Export, Export As. Under File Format, you can now select SVG. You can leave those options as they are and then come to your Export option. Select where you'd like to save the SVG file, so I'm going to save it to my Images folder. Set your name and simply click Save. You can also export these layers individually as SVGs. So to do this, start by renaming each layer. Double click and add SVG as an extension and do this to all the layers. Once renamed, come to File, Generate and make sure Image Assets is turned on. And then we're going to go to File, Save As. You'll now notice that an Assets folder has been made ready for you in the save location. For me, that's Images. Feel free to leave the file name as it is. Make sure your format is set to a Photoshop file, and then from there, click Save. Press OK. And now if I locate all my save files in my Images folder, you can see I've got my original fully saved SVG file. I've then got my Photoshop file, but then if I click in my folder Assets, I've now got the three individual files saved as SVGs. So there you have it. That's how to save an SVG from Photoshop, either as a full SVG file or the individual layers saved as SVGs. So I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial.